let's build a footer and make some final adjustments to our site. First, let's make the footer a bit bigger and make sure it's set to scale proportionally. And delete the default text that's placed here. Now add a grid with two columns and add a third cell at the bottom by clicking the plus. Let's change the top left cell's color to this dark gray and make it wider. Now we can add our text element from our library. Resize it a little, and since the text is set to scale proportionally, set a minimum size for it. Next, adjust this text top and left margins. Then drag the logo to the bottom left cell, resize it and dock it to the bottom, and let's leave it as scale proportionally. And for that larger logo, we'll drag this image into the left cell with a bit of overflow on the right. We can just resize it to make sure it fills the cell's height. Then align it vertically in the center. To get that cropped visual effect we want, set this cell's overflow content to hide. We can also send this image back so it won't cover any of our other content. Now, our right cell. First, add media and choose the gradient image to be in the background. Next, add some elements like the contact us text and place it on the canvas with the same margins that we used for the text on the left cell and some distance from the top. Then, add the email text from the library as well. Set the email and the contact us text to hug with scale proportionally. And since both of those elements will scale, set minimum sizes of 16 pixels for both. And go ahead and stack them and adjust their spacing. Then we can add a social bar. Choose whichever icons make sense and tweak the layout a bit. Then dock it to the bottom of the cell. Now let's add the arrow icon to the bottom right. Make it a bit smaller to fit the design and dock it to the bottom of that cell. On to the bottom cell. Let's change this container's color too. Then drag this All Rights Reserved text to the bottom and center it. And make it fixed with a size of 14 pixels. So now when we resize our canvas, everything is scaling proportionally. And once the text elements that we set minimum sizes for reach their minimum, they stop resizing. You can see that the logo at the bottom left looks a little too small at a certain point. But it's okay when we resize the screen back. Also, the bottom row might look a bit better if we set it at a fixed size. So it will stay the same height on all screen sizes. But we still want the top two cells to scale. We can make that happen by converting the section to a CSS grid. Using CSS grid, we can set for each row and column a specific width and height. So we will set the bottom row to a fixed size of 50 pixels. To keep that top row scaling according to the largest element, which is this big overflowing logo, we can set the top row height to max content. We want the left cell to take up two thirds of our section. So we'll set it to two FR and set the right column to one FR to take one third of the section. Now, to make sure the logo at the bottom left doesn't shrink too much, Select it and convert the sizing to advanced, then set a minimum width of 140 pixels. Let's preview again. This looks good on desktop and tablet, but it could use some adjustments on mobile. So on mobile, switch the layout to rows and reposition the containers into the row we want using the location and grid cells in the inspector. And we actually don't need this empty row, so let's just delete it. And if you have any empty space, you can resize your container to cover the entire first row. Now let's resize this element a bit. And set the size of the first row to max content, so it'll take the height of our biggest element. For the second row, let's set a minimum maximum, so the minimum will be 150 pixels and the maximum 200 pixels. Then, Make the last row the same height as we did before of 50 pixels. One last touch here, I will adjust this text element's width. Now let's preview to see everything looks. So now the top row scales, while the bottom row stays fixed on desktop and tablet. And the logo at the bottom left stops shrinking when it gets to its minimum. And once we get to mobile, the design looks good too. 
We're so close to finalizing our site. We just need to update the menu and add some anchors. So, click on each of the sections and add an anchor. Then add the name so you'll be able to identify each section later on. And do the same for all the other sections. Now let's update the menu. First under Manage Items, adjust the first item and link it to the first section that's also named Home. You can add the rest of the anchors to your menu by adding a link item to the menu and choosing the anchor that you want it to jump to. Just repeat that for each link. Lastly, adjust the menu's width and set the logo to Fixed. We did it! This entire site is ready to go. All of our sections are designed and look good across every breakpoint. So that's it! You did it! The course and challenges are complete. Time to put all of that hard work and knowledge to good use and create your next Wix Studio site. Go to the Wix Studio Academy to find design and dev resources to continue learning. Thanks for taking part.